Good morning, my dear children. Welcome back uh, in this grammar section. Okay, uh, I have already taught you removal of to in without infinitives. In this session, I will try to teach you how to remove to from infinitives. Sentence that carry infinitives. Infinitives that means to plus verb. To plus first form of the verb. I, I have written uh, an example here, please look at this sentence. The sun is too hot to walk. The sun is extremely hot to walk. I am very much surprised that a lot of students make changes here, but they do not make ch any type of change here. Uh, this is the wrong way. We are transforming the sentences uh, in which we have to add some clauses. Uh, this is a very simple sentence. This sentence carry only one clause that is principal clause that you can say it as a main clause and whatever. And uh, while changing infinitives, we have to take certain states. And uh, I am right, uh, I have already written here the structure of the sentence that how to transform the sentences of infinitives. Okay. The sun, I have uh, saw here, the sun is too hot to walk. The sun is so hot that no one can walk. What do you have to, I have already um, described in the previous class that uh, whenever two comes with infinitive, it gives negative meaning. Okay. Here, here is the negative word and it gives the negative meaning. No one can walk. No one can walk. Okay. And uh, you have to prepare this structure to uh, make all uh, type of sentences in infinitives or in the previous class without infinitives okay subject plus verb plus so plus a uh, adjective or adverb which has been given here and uh, use that because you are just going to join two clauses together so we need any uh, conjunction and that is a suitable conjunction according to this sentence so we use that here that and uh, after uh, after uh, putting uh, conjunction here we need a subject because I, I have already described that uh, we need two clauses and uh, both clauses carry different subjects also okay so put down a subject here and this subject must follow this one because you are just preparing a sentence in which you are denoting uh, to a only one subject. Okay, but put down the main subject here and then write down negative uh, words or negative, uh, any negative word uh, or you can also use cannot or could not if the sentence is in past form. You can use could not and if the sentence is in present form, you are free to use cannot. Okay. There is uh, the whole part and partial of removal of two. There is only two type of removal of two, infinitives and without infinitives. Uh, I have already described it. Uh, my dear students, please prepare a lot of questions on uh, based on these two sections of removal of two. 